Hello guys, my name is Joey and welcome to a guide to how to train combat on officialmindscape.com. This is a Mindscape server and I am a moderator on this server. I'm gonna go through every skill and show you how it's done. So, we're gonna start with combat and the next video will be a skill based video. With combat, the first thing you need to know is that combat is based on four skills. Four your combat level that is. It's based on four skills, the melee combat skills. So you're going through your inventory and you go click on the stats right here and then you go through attack, strength, defense and hit points. You can train combat in four different ways. You can go through this thing here which is combat strategies or combat methods. You can get train attack and hit points, you can train strength and hit points, you can train defense and hit points, and you train everything. My personal opinion, you should train everything. Because I've trained everything separate and my XP was way less efficient than training everything. So start by training everything and don't let go of it. Um, you can go like for attack, strength, or defense, pure, or go... like do find your own way, find, find what's best for you, but I think if I was to start over, I would go for train everything all the way. Right now, I'm going to start fighting, but I don't have any items. Let's say this is not here, but I don't have any items. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the shop. The shop is out the castle. You go to out the castle, you go left, and as you go left, I should follow the path which is a lot easier go follow the path and there's a shop right there once you're there you're gonna buy a list of items the first item being a weapon of course because who fights without a weapon so you're gonna go in the shop and you click bronze dagger bronze dagger is the only thing you can use right now if we click on attack you can see bronze dagger is level one then you bronze battle axe, bronze mace, bronze long sword, bronze scimitar. You can see there is a 1, 2, 4, 6, 8 sequence. As you continue on there will be like 10, 12, 13, 16, 18. And you continue on. You can see there is a slight change sometimes but it's pretty consistent in how you level up. Once you've reached all those skills, once you've reached every single one of these weapons, you can eventually get your Dragon Scimitar. But right now we're still level 1. Well, I'm not, but you are suggesting you just started. You, so I've got my bronze dagger. Now I need armor, but let me see what armor can I use. Because armor is also dependent on your skill. Now if I can check bronze chain set is all level one but my bronze plate helmet and bronze plate set is level five and if you start out you have level one so we need to get to level five in defense before we can get another armor set so first off we're gonna buy the bronze chain set there we go we have a bronze chain set now let's go find some mobs now there are two mobs in Lumbridge which are both very easy to fight. It requires some effort, but not too much. It's easy to start on. And I'm going to start with the sheep, and later on I will go to the cows, which will be over there. I'm going to start attacking them. So if you attack them, you'll see that I, I one hit him. You probably won't one hit him. You'll do like two or three damage which means you have to th hit him between 6 and 3 times, 3 and 4 times, my apologies. My calculation skills are assumingly bad around this time, but let's continue on. So you have your sheep here. You can also steal from a sheep. If you right click on a sheep, you can see it's either saying, look, you are having trouble to steal this guy, or you stole him from a sheep. That this takes so long is a bit of bad luck because my thieving level is quite high. Now I wasn't talking about thieving when I started this uh, guide. 
thieving is actually a really easy skill to train whilst you're melee com whilst you train your melee combat skills. So you go through to the sheet and you right click. So it will most likely become aggressive, but it's not running fast because only if you hit it, it will run faster. So as you can see, there was a slight lag spike there. Always be careful of that. Make sure you have enough distance between them and kite them, like kite them backwards. I am currently fighting some sheep. My I one hit him, but you won't. So they will attack you. Once you've reached, you slay it all them, and you've reached level five in every skill or level five in defense. You're gonna go back. Let me get rid of all this meat. Get the coins right here. If you didn't know, coins can be added to your account if you right click the ground or the air right now. So I'm gonna right click the air. You see, I can right click as you can see in the middle. And you earned 11 coins, is the message I've received. So if I do slash money, I can see how much money I have. Now we're gonna go into the shop and we're gonna buy the next set of armor because we've if you reach level 5 of course, if you don't have level 5 you can't use it. Sometimes you can glitch it on, but I would recommend not to do it because it has no benefits and you cannot do anything with it. So you buy your bronze plate set and you also buy your bronze mace, your bronze longsword and your bronze scimitar. Those items will be key to, your, um, lev to you leveling up. Because if you have level 5 attack, which I said trained to level 5, once you reach level 5 attack you can use a bronze maze, which is actually available at level 4. But once you you can use this to attack mobs, so you have a l stronger attack. As your weapons go up, your weapons will increase your their damage by the level needed. So let's say we're going to bronze maze is level 4, you add 1 to that, that's 5. Then what you do is you pick up your strength level, your strength level is right here, which is 120 for me, but let's say it's 5 for you, so it will be 5 plus 6 will be, your max hit will be 11, which will almost insta-kill those sheep, which basically you are up for another mob. But for a short bit we're gonna just stay here and fight to level 10, at the cows. Now at the cows you go there, it's across the bridge, it's like from the shop, you go across to the sheep field and instead of going uh, left to the sheep field you go right and you go straight across and which will which will lead to the sheep uh, cow field. My apologies. Once you reach the cow field you'll see a cow. All the cows goes the same, you use your weapon which you are available if your weapon is not high not high enough of a level or you're not high enough of a level to wear the weapon you cannot use it I am high enough to use any weapon so I cannot demonstrate that for you but you'll see once you try make sure to hit the mob with the weapon you use also make sure to keep stealing from them I forgot that right there so I'll sh steal from them again, and you'll see that I actually stole some beef from them. Now I know that sounds weird, because if you steal beef from a cow, it pretty much is that. But it's the way the game works, it's, um, it's a bit finicky, and I suggest you keep, you have beef with it, you just go, you just keep grinding until you reach level 10. Or maybe a little bit earlier, but you until you reach level 10, until you are up for iron items. Now you have iron items but what can you do with iron items? So what I suggest is that you go back to the shop and I'm gonna show you the entire shop again. Sorry that I have to go through this um, a bit long winded part of this because I want to explain this as in depth as possible because I want even the newest player and a player that doesn't know anything about RPGs or MMOs to try play this. So I'm gonna sell every weapon we have right now because we don't need it. Let me get up the armor. You can buy at level 5 you can buy bronze plate by the way so you don't need this. So make sure you buy your correct armor according to your level. 
Once you reach level 10, you can buy iron chain. So you go buy iron chain and have a full set. So I'm gonna wear that. Now I'm gonna buy the following items. I'm gonna buy an, an entire set of weapons. I'm gonna buy the iron dagger, iron battle axe, the iron mace, the iron longsword, and the iron scimitar, as well as the iron plate helmet, plate boots, iron plate legs, and iron plate body. I'm gonna carry them over to right here, and then I'm gonna place all the items I can't use yet below here. It's for easy inventory management. Never knew I could move them there in this shop in the face, but apparently it's possible, which is quite... I like that feature. I didn't know it exists. Uh, you learn something every day, even as the number one player. Once you have this, all, this, all these items, you go to Verrug. And for people who haven't played RuneScape or who've lost the way to RuneScape, uh, Verrug is this way. You basically have to go right here and then go to the left. And once you've reached that, let me see. Oh, uh, and you can go right here. And it's, it's a bit of a long journey, so I, will I suggest you sit back and enjoy the journey. Uh, enjoy the landscape and make sure to search for a uh, the IP of Mindscape. Go on the website, make an account, do something in the meantime whilst we're getting here. Or if you, if you already know how to get here. If you don't know how to get here, then I suggest keep watching. Because here. Um, this is a Vero card. Uh, this is the first one. There are a few here. There are three Vero cards right here. One of them is right here. They are level 10. That's their average. You'll see someone using magic right here. But Vero cards are pretty easy mobs, for me at least, but they are pretty um, challenging if you're a level 10. Okay, so once you fight, you're gonna fight these feral cards until your level is level 15. Then you're gonna go put in your iron plate boots, uh, plate armor, and you're at 15. You already have used your iron battle axe, your iron mace, and at level 20, uh, 16, you can use your iron longsword and your iron scimitar. People are stealing my uh, monsters, as it seems, but. This is basically how it's best to uh, fight your mobs. And you continue on up until the point that you reach level 20. And at level 20 you can find new items. And those new items can be found in the Vaughn store found in the Grand Exchange. Now I'm going to show you another spot where those Varric cards can be found. And right after we're going to visit the Grand Exchange where you can see where you can find steel items. So let me see. There are another four, if I'm not mistaken, Vera guards right here, which are great for training. I've used the train at, uh, as a low level here, and it's all amazing. They're, they have great drops. Let me see if I can get some drops here. See, they have bones. Uh, they have quite a bit of coins, I think. Oh, well, six coins. But if you like keep slaying them, you keep like you kill a few hundred of them, because this is a grindy game. You 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 gotta love to grind. Um, put them some music, uh, grind a bit. So let me see. You get you get a bit of air runes. Um, you get a fair bit of money actually. My apologies. I lost my words right there and. I wanted to say is that you make sure you go to level 20 and once you reach level 20 walk right here onto the ground exchange where you can have find your advanced store NPC. There are multiple of these on among the world but you've used like all your weapons and you can see here there are steel weapons, steel armor sets. You can go to Mithril, Adamant, Rune and even Dragon. The Dragon textures are not yet in place but the weapons are amazing they're pretty strong and i suggest go f going for it 
but on the advanced, more advanced combat guide, make sure to stay watching, leave a like, subscribe, and keep on mindscaping people because we really need the players and I would be happy to see if someone can beat my stats. I'm, I'm sure that's a big peep and I'm sure that people are enjoying it but I have less time to play because I want to show you things, you, you people more things. I want to keep working on things. I have a lot of things to do. Um, that's a bit vague isn't it but in the meantime I hope you can try to beat me try to get all everything on here and make sure to uh, share this with everyone you know and um, well happy mindscaping once again I'll see you guys later <laughs>